Hey there YouTubers, today I thought I'd do some more work on my travel trailer. A lot of the problems that it, you'll find if you uh, try moving into one of these things is the storage space is a real problem. So uh, I've just decided to do uh, some of the things, I've, or show some of the things that I've recently done to improve the storage around my trailer. Okay, this is going to be pretty hard to shoot because uh, I'm in close quarters. I kind of wish I had one of those GoPros right now with the wide angle lens. But anyhow, what I've decided to do is convert the front end of my trailer into storage. So, if you remember, if, or if you've watched my way earlier videos, there used to be a bed right there in this area. You can kind of still see the outline of where the bed used to be. And then I took the bed out and I moved the sleeper sofa from the main area and put it in there. But that was really just a huge obstacle to getting in and out of this space. So what I've done is uh, I, I have this dresser that's just a regular house dresser. Actually, it's pretty amazing. This is like a, a cheap piece of shit dresser that I've probably had 25 years. But anyhow, uh, I got it on just a $15 Harbor Freight furniture dolly. And I put these containers in right behind it right here. And it was really hard trying to find something that would fit this gap in between these two cabinets right here. So I put these in. I really wanted to go three high, but there's just not enough height to go all the way up. And I'm still kind of looking for something else to put in there. Uh, what this piece is right here is that is actually an outdoor table. And I just have the front folded down right here and I'm just using that right now because it's already paid for so this is a hard top piece right here and then in each of these bags I just have um, kitchen related items that I don't use frequently so they're back here they're not too hard to get to and I'm gonna probably put some labels on those bags so I can remember what's in them because it's just I've been moving so much stuff around it's hard to remember what goes where and then um, I have these two plastic containers and they're on another Harbor Freight uh, furniture dolly. And the reason I have this, these containers and this dresser on dollies is so that I can get the stuff. So it's super easy. I just move them around. I can put, you know those up there against the window like that and then I can get access to those containers but if I want to get into this cabinet right here I just rotate them around and I can get in now on a previous video I discussed how these cabinets were essentially worthless uh, for hanging clothes in and I still stand by that but what I found out was I actually had um, this little three cabinet thing right here and they fit right in there so now I have a drawer that I can pull out and put stuff into and once again this is a, a storage area for things that I don't get to too often but it's nice to have around and then I still have a little space left on top to put something if I want to and then that's the the same thing over here I just can move this dresser with one hand out of the way and I'm going to probably put some kind of drawer thing underneath there that's a mess and then I had two of those things right there so I just put two in there and then I still got storage space on top and just gave up on using that uh, this bar for hanging anything from my probably ought to just take that out of there actually what I need to do is that, now I'm looking at it is repurpose those for uh, tall racks in other places. I still have some space on this wall to put things and it just seems like a lot of open space to leave to nothing. Ideally it would have been nicer to have this rack up in the air but the problem is if I want to use this sliding door I can't hang anything up here so you know now I have a lot of space but you can't you know either get in or out of this room so all these clothes are down a little bit lower 
it's just kind of one of those compromises you have if you're gonna uh, live in a travel trailer or RV or whatever and then another thing I'm looking for is I've been searching around at different stores I'm looking for some shelving so that's gonna like kind of blend into the top of this cabinet and then go all the way around in a u-shape that I can put small items on and so that it's not crashing up my countertop and I found some stuff at Home Depot about it's a little pricey I need to stop at Lowe's and uh, there's another place to look at and see if I can't find something to put in there and then the other uh, another thing I want to do I'm gonna hang on here I'm gonna keep using the, the above bunk area for storage and I, these are almost completely empty I've got a lot of space in here that I haven't filled with anything in fact most of that those containers up in the front are just completely empty so um, I'm really starting to maximize a lot of space in here but what I want to do is put probably like a towel rack or a, some kind of hanging rack right here and then maybe another one that goes across here because believe it or not there's not one place in this trailer to hang a towel or a wash rag not even in the bathroom so I want to put something like right in this area right here and maybe another one right here and then I got this I got this for four bucks it was clearance but I'm just gonna put this in here it's gonna have to actually kind of go across into the shower area a little bit if it's gonna fit but it's got to be I want something wide enough to put a, a, a bath towel on because I have no place to hang them except for out on the shower rack so it's just not can't believe that no one thought about this anyhow those are my plans one of the things I decided to put in here uh, behind this commode is one of these shelving units I just can't get far enough back to show the whole thing uh, but it's gonna give me some place to put some towels up uh, which is kind of a hard thing for me to get the storage is far away it's a pretty lightweight unit uh, color doesn't match too bad one weird thing is it comes with a fastener to bolt it to the wall but for some reason it's silver colored every other screw that comes in this thing is the same color as the unit except for that those two that go to the wall so that's kind of peculiar and then the other thing I put in here uh, got a matching towel rack for it so it'd be nice to have a place to hang a towel up uh, after a shower and then I decided to put one up above the bed area here and that'll be nice just to have another place to hang something to dry out I'm a little concerned about the durability because uh, the ceiling is so thin well it's just, the walls are thin too but um, this will just be hanging straight down so I'm gonna have to watch carefully you know if that's gonna hold up or not if it doesn't then uh, what I'll probably do is put anchor bolts up there instead and see if that works all right that's some of the stuff I've got finished up so far thanks for watching and uh, have a nice one